Hello, my name is Jenny Luscombe and I'm a certified emotion code practitioner and an advanced EFT practitioner and in this video I'm going to attempt to explain the emotion code. So I discovered the emotion code about seven or eight years ago and I heard about it on a podcast and I decided to get Dr Bradley Nelson's book, The Emotion Code, which I would highly recommend. Now, I've been using it every day of my life since, and it is miraculous. Now, it's very difficult to explain, and it is beyond quite a few people's belief system. So I quite often get inquiries from clients um, because they've heard things about it, and then they decide not to book because they just can't believe it's possible, which is understandable. Um, now... It's similar to EFT in the way that you can learn to use this yourself. It's a skill. It's a skill that you can practice and you can learn. Um, it doesn't necessarily come straight away. It comes with practice. And it's basically an exercise in self-trust because you use muscle testing and you use muscle testing on your own body so you can get in loads of different ways actually about five there's about five six seven different ways of doing muscle testing but you can basically communicate with your body's intelligence and you can get yes no answers depending on the reaction to your muscle test so um unlike eft um i mean eft is good for people who like to talk about their issue the emotion code is really good for people who don't want to talk or not necessarily they don't want to talk, but they, it just doesn't suit them to do it that way. And a lot of people feel that way. A lot of people don't want to share their issues with a complete stranger, which is understandable. Um, this is a hugely empowering therapy. So I'm going to attempt to explain now what it is and how it works. So I've been using it pretty much every day of my life since I read the book and I was getting such good results that I decided to train as a practitioner. So you might have heard um, that science <laughs> acknowledges that our consciousness that is kind of divided up between the conscious and the subconscious mind. Now it's kind of widely known that the subconscious mind is way bigger than the conscious mind in its capacity. So a lot of people think of the conscious mind as being about 5 to 10% of the full capacity of the consciousness. And the subconscious is about 90 to 95%. Now, if that's true, then there's a lot of our consciousness that we're not using currently. Now, that's, that's definitely true from my perspective. Now, the emotion code itself, it, it was um, devised by Dr. Bradley Nelson. He had an experience when he was young and he had, um, I can't remember what it was, he had a physical disability and medical science couldn't fix him. And he remembers being taken to all the big shiny hospitals and eventually his parents were desperate and they took him to the hippie doctors in a field in a caravan kind of like set up and they sorted him out and they healed him and he doesn't know what they did he can't really remember but they did what the posh doctors couldn't do so he was curious all his life about what really happened um, and then he went on to become an osteopath and then he became very intuitive and decided and um, started to receive information intuitively from clients and then the emotion code kind of came from there. So he's given us a chart of 60 emotions. So it's divided into column A and column B. Now in each box, there's six rows, in each box there's five emotions. So that in, for example, row one, there's five emotions, one A, and then there's five emotions in 1B. And then in 2A, there's five emotions. There's 60 altogether. Now, with muscle testing, you can ask your body's intelligence 
if you have trapped emotion that is causing your current circumstances. So your current circumstances, they might be an emotional issue. It might be a mental issue. So thoughts, beliefs, um, limiting beliefs. It might be a physical issue. So you might have pain in your body. You might have symptoms of disease. Um, it could be a circumstantial issue in work, it could be a relationship issue, it could be a family issue. Now, the theory is that you are able to identify the trapped emotion that is causing your issue. Now, the trapped emotion is held in the body and we can't necessarily see it if it's subconscious. Now, if it's subconscious, it's because we suppressed it because it was painful. So it came from a traumatic experience or a difficult scenario, um, maybe when we were younger. And when we suppress these trapped emotions, they don't go anywhere. They just become invisible to us. Now, the interesting thing about this is that other people can see them, but we can't. Um, it's a very complicated scenario, and I'll probably make another video about that at some point. So there are four types of trapped emotion. There are trapped emotions that we've absorbed in this life, so from um, other people, from circumstances that are difficult. There are prenatal trapped emotions that we can trap as a baby in the womb. So if our mum, who is pregnant with us, is going through some difficult scenario, we can absorb that trapped emotion as a very, very small child um, and then we carry that with us if it's left unresolved. There's also past life trapped emotion. Not everyone is open to that, obviously. Um, and then there is ancestral inherited trapped emotion. Now, we can have that on either our father's side or our mother's side. Now, these four types of trapped emotion, if they remain subconsciously trapped in our body, they could be causing all sorts of problems and we might not know why we do the things we do, um, feel the way that we feel. But there's loads of things that we don't understand yet about ourselves and our consciousness. Now, your body has a natural intelligence. Your body actually has a consciousness. Now, this consciousness is not the same as your consciousness. It's totally different to your consciousness. So it's helpful to look at it in a different way. Now, the best way to look at your body's consciousness is to see your body as an archive. It's a library or it's a tape recorder. Now, everything that's ever happened to you in your life is recorded in a cellular way in your body. Um, there's, there are ways in the EFT therapy that I use to use emotion like, the, for example, you're feeling anxiety up here or fear down in your stomach or anger kind of up here. There's a way of connecting that emotion to the root memory of that. So your body gives you clues and it, ho it holds on to the tension. And then there's a way of figuring out where that came from. Now, you can do that with EFT. You can also do that with the emotion code. So with the emotion code, you can just ask specific direct questions to your body. Um, do I have trapped emotions causing my wife to hate me or whatever the issue is and then your body will give you a yes no and then if you get yes then you can say is that trapped emotion in column a yes no is it in an even row is it in row two is it in row four so you can identify the the box of five emotions where that emotion is now, there's often multiple trapped emotions connected to any issue. Um, it's different for each person how much you could release in one go. Um, but anyway, the first step is identifying that. So once you've identified that trapped emotion and then you've asked specifically, what type of trapped emotion is that? Once you've established how to um, get a yes, no answer from your body, you can ask other questions. You can literally ask anything. Um, the only thing that you can't ask about and get an accurate answer is the future. <laughs> now, that's another video. So, 
I'm now a certified practitioner. Um, I, I can help you identify the trapped emotion in your body. I'm starting to teach people how to muscle test so that you can do this yourself. Um, but if I was doing a session with you, um, now I don't, I don't work face to face anymore. I used to do that. But if you were in the same room as me, I could muscle test your body. So I could, I could muscle test your arm and get a yes, no. Um, online, this is the leap of faith that a lot of people can't buy into because it's outside their belief system. So when someone trains in the emotion code or when someone is drawn to the emotion code, it's because their consciousness is expanding. So when I first started to, to, to do this and I read the book, I didn't trust my muscle testing answers. And it took me a number of years to build that up and to know that the results that I'm getting are accurate. Now, I know that the muscle testing that I do for myself and for other people, I know that it's accurate, even if I'm doing it online. And I know that it's accurate because people get well. <laughs> and I've also done um, the emotion code for animals, you know, people's horses, people's dogs. Now, when a dog no longer has the issue that the owner brought the dog to me for, you know that it's worked. Like, we're, we're not, dogs are not gonna kind of get well to please me or pretend. <laughs> so it works for animals, it works for people. So if you were learning to use muscle testing yourself, you wouldn't necessarily believe yourself straight away. And that's part of the process. But as soon as you start to feel the emotion releasing, and you start to have experiences where you suddenly realise that you've healed your own issue because it's no longer there, then you're winning. Now, it's not an instant thing. So when I do a session with people online, I muscle test my body for my client. So this is based on the theory that we are all one. And I believe in oneness. I believe that we're all the same organism we're all connected. Um, it's hard to explain, but when I when I muscle test my own body, it's just as accurate for me to muscle test for somebody that's the other side of the world in Australia as it is to muscle test myself. It's the same process. So some people would say we're tuning into the body's consciousness. Some people would say we're tuning into the quantum field. Um, there's loads of different ways of, of looking at this and it's up to you to frame it in the way that makes sense for you. But I would highly recommend learning to do this and I would highly recommend booking a session with me so you can see what all the fuss is about. <laughs> so once I've established what the trapped emotion is that is causing your issue and what types of trapped emotion that is and then you will have the opportunity to ask any other questions about that um i will release the trapped emotion using magnetic energy now magnetic energy is actually the strongest form of energy in the universe and if you were in the room with me i would use a magnet on your meridian line and intention to release that um online i use that magnetic energy on myself for you so the actual results of this are just off the off the charts and this work it brings about a powerful energetic shift on that specific issue that you've come about and that issue will feel really different once you've released it and you'll have a period of processing and releasing that emotion. So one thing I've noticed is it makes people really thirsty sometimes. And you have to drink plenty of water to keep rehydrated after a session. Any kind of energy work is um, the same kind of symptoms. Not everyone feels that. Uh, some people feel really tired. Um, I mean, if you think about it, if you're carrying something around in the cells of your body forever, and then suddenly the cells of your body release that, there's going to be some shifting around and it's going to feel, you're going to notice it. Um, 
another thing that people notice so after you've had that emotional shift and you start to realize that that issue isn't the same anymore you'll experience uh, like an increased awareness about that issue so in a similar way to EF, using EFT you receive information that you didn't know was there so you find out things that you didn't know that you didn't know about that thing so it has a similar feel um, to when you you've done you know after doing any kind of energy work EFT the emotion code like all of that stuff it can feel the same but you do have an increased level of awareness afterwards and it fills in the the gaps in you know wondering why you do certain things you might suddenly receive the insight that's why I do that thing or this is why I always attract the same kind of people or you know whatever whatever it is for you um I think that's I think that's most of what I wanted to say it, it's a t it's really really hard to explain this to people that don't already that are not already on the spiritual path um but the more that you practice this the more your consciousness will expand and the more ability you will have to tune into yourself so if you want to find out any specific answers to questions that you might have about your issue um then feel free to contact me to book a session with me the link is below so I also do sessions in EFT tapping therapy and now I deliver one-to-one -one training sessions in learning how to use EFT yourself, um, doing parts work or inner child work and learning how to muscle test. I also have a newsletter if you want to sign up for that. There are a couple of free gifts that I think that you might like. And I also now have an online course called Free Therapy Forever a crash course in sovereignty, self-healing and self-mastery. So all of the information is below. Thank you very much for listening and good luck.